Welcome to News Beacon, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. In the world of technology, progress is measured in nanometers, a unit so incredibly small that it's almost impossible to imagine. To put it in perspective, a single human hair is about 80,000 nanometers wide. That means these measurements are at a scale where even the tiniest objects we see every day are gigantic by comparison. When we talk about a 2 nanometer chip, we're referring to the size of the transistors, the microscopic switches that control the flow of electricity and power every modern electronic device, from smartphones to supercomputers. Shrinking these transistors means more of them can fit onto a single chip, which translates to faster processing speeds, greater energy efficiency, and the ability to handle more complex tasks than ever before. The leap to 2 nanometers isn't just a small improvement, it's a monumental jump that redefines what's possible in computing, opening doors to innovations we could only dream of a few years ago. For everyday users, this means longer battery life, smarter and more responsive AI, and devices that are not only faster but also more reliable. For massive data centers, it unlocks new frontiers in research, artificial intelligence, and high-performance computing. Manufacturing these advanced chips is the ultimate test of technological leadership. It's a race that separates true innovators from those who simply follow, requiring precision, expertise, and massive investment. For years, only a select few, TSMC, Samsung, and Intel, were able to compete at this level, relying on ASML's exclusive EUV lithography machines which are among the most sophisticated tools ever built. Access to this cutting-edge technology was like holding a golden ticket, tightly controlled by a handful of nations and fiercely protected as a strategic asset. But in early 2025, China's breakthrough in chip manufacturing sent shockwaves through the industry, challenging the dominance of established players and signaling a dramatic shift in the global balance of power. Now the rules of the game are being rewritten, with far-reaching consequences for global commerce, national security and the future of innovation itself. The U.S. recognized semiconductors as a strategic asset and moved to block China's access to advanced chip-making tools. Export controls and sanctions targeted China's ability to buy critical equipment and software, especially EUV machines from ASML and DUV systems from Japan. The goal? Freeze China's chip industry at older technology nodes, keeping Chinese firms like SMIC from advancing. For a while it worked, China's best chips were stuck at 7 nanometers using inefficient workarounds. Western analysts believed China had hit a wall and the tech gap would only widen. But beneath the surface, these restrictions fueled a massive state-backed push for self-sufficiency. Chinese engineers weren't giving up, they were finding new ways around the blockade. The sanctions, meant to contain, instead ignited a drive for innovation. The stage was set for a dramatic breakthrough. The real breakthrough came not with a chip, but with a leap in physics and engineering mastering EUV light. EUV lithography, the heart of advanced chip making, uses 13.5 nanometer light to etch impossibly small patterns. For decades, only ASML could build these machines, using lasers to vaporize tin droplets and create EUV light in a vacuum. The West believed this complexity was an unbreakable barrier. But in early 2025, Chinese scientists at the Shanghai Institute of Optics announced a stable, high-power EUV light source. It wasn't a full lithography machine yet, but it was the hardest part. Proof that China could replicate the core technology. This was more than copying. It was a systematic deconstruction and reinvention. The knowledge couldn't be sanctioned, and the drive for innovation only grew stronger. The containment strategy was backfiring, fueling China's technological ascent. China's EUV light source breakthrough shattered the core premise of US-led sanctions. With the hardest hurdle cleared, building a full lithography machine became a challenge of integration, not invention. The bottleneck was broken, Chinese foundries could now pursue 5, 3 and even 2 nanometer chips. This put China back on the global semiconductor track, competing head-to-head -head with TSMC, Samsung and Intel. The team behind the breakthrough included talent with ASML experience, highlighting the global mobility of expertise. Sanctions couldn't stop knowledge transfer, they concentrated talent and resources on solving the problem. A fully operational Chinese EUV machine is now a matter of time, not possibility. Soon, Chinese tech giants could re-enter the high-end market with domestically produced, cutting-edge chips. 
the race is back on and China is building its own car. As China mastered EUV, its scientists unveiled an even bigger leap, a new transistor that doesn't use silicon. Researchers at Peking University, led by Professor Halen Peng, built a transistor from bismuth oxyselenide, a two-dimensional material just one atom thick. This sidesteps the entire silicon-based ecosystem and the sanctions designed to control it. At 2 nanometers and below, silicon faces quantum limits. Electrons leak, wasting energy. The new transistor uses a gate all-around, GAFET design, tightly controlling electrons and slashing energy loss. This innovation opens a path to advanced chips without EUV machines, independent of Western supply chains. China now has two roads, mastering silicon with EUV and leapfrogging with novel materials. The second path could set a new global standard, one where China leads, not follows. The game has changed, and the rules are being rewritten. The silicon-free two-dimensional transistor isn't just clever science, it promises real-world performance gains. Chips built with bismuth oxyselenide could be up to 40% faster and use 10% less power than today's best silicon chips. This leap is possible thanks to the unique properties of two-dimensional materials and advanced GAFET architecture. In April 2025, Chinese scientists announced the world's first 1 nanometer chip, based on open-source RISC-V architecture. RISC-V is free and open, unlike Western-controlled designs making China's new tech stack sanction-proof. The 1 nanometer chip is moving from lab to pilot production. This is no longer just theory. The leading edge of chip technology may soon shift away from the Western silicon-based ecosystem. China is building a vertically integrated, independent innovation pipeline. The future of semiconductors is being redefined not by copying but by inventing a new path. China's twin breakthroughs, mastery of EUV lithography and pioneering work in two-dimensional materials, have sent shockwaves through the global tech landscape, signaling a new era in semiconductor innovation. These advances have upended the established order, challenging the dominance of traditional tech powers and opening new frontiers for research and industry. Ironically, U.S. sanctions intended to contain China's rise have instead accelerated its relentless push for semiconductor independence, fueling massive investment and innovation. Now, China is emerging as a true peer competitor, rapidly erasing its vulnerability as the world's largest chip importer and building a robust domestic supply chain. Achieving self-sufficiency means China's tech industry is increasingly insulated from foreign pressure, global supply shocks, and shifting geopolitical winds. The global balance of power is shifting before our eyes, as new centers of innovation and influence emerge. The US no longer stands alone at the top of the technology pyramid, facing a rising challenger with global ambitions. We're entering a multipolar era, where technological leadership is shared and contested across continents. Rival ecosystems are taking shape, one led by the US, the other by China, each with its own standards, supply chains, and spheres of influence. China's new technological capabilities could reshape global alliances as countries weigh their options in a rapidly evolving landscape. With its growing expertise, China is poised to offer its technology and know-how to other nations, expanding its influence far beyond its borders. The old tools of economic statecraft, tariffs, sanctions and trade barriers are losing their edge in this new environment. Today, innovation, not restriction, is the true key to global leadership, and the race to invent is more intense than ever. The US and its allies now face a formidable, fast-moving competitor, forcing a fundamental rethink of what it means to lead in technology. Leadership is no longer about guarding secrets or controlling supply chains, it's about setting the pace of discovery and progress. The race is no longer about keeping secrets, it's about who can invent the future faster, and who will shape the world that comes next. China's breakthroughs are shaking the global tech industry to its core. Western chip giants like Intel, Nvidia, and TSMC can no longer count on a generational lead. Chinese firms will soon compete in high-end markets with state-of-the-art, domestically produced chips. This new competition will squeeze prices and margins, eroding the premium Western brands once commanded. Tech companies must now rethink strategy, focusing on software, ecosystems, and brand loyalty. A parallel Chinese semiconductor ecosystem could force global firms to choose sides, fragmenting the market. For China's tech champions like Huawei, 
This is a moment of liberation and resurgence. With secure access to advanced chips, they can innovate and compete globally once again. The world's tech giants are on notice. China is no longer just catching up, it's setting the pace. As of September 2025, the global tech landscape is fundamentally changed. The pace of transformation is unlike anything the world has seen before, with innovation cycles accelerating and new players emerging on the scene almost overnight. The US and its allies must now out-innovate, not just out-restrict, to compete with China. The focus has shifted from simply setting boundaries to actively pushing the frontiers of science and technology, demanding unprecedented collaboration and creativity. The race to one nanometer and beyond is the new space race, driving national prestige and power. Every breakthrough in microchip technology is a statement of global influence, and the stakes have never been higher for those leading the charge. For consumers, this rivalry could spark a golden age of rapid innovation, smarter devices, new breakthroughs, and faster progress. Everyday life is being transformed, as artificial intelligence and automation become more deeply woven into the fabric of society. But it may also mean a fragmented digital world, with rival ecosystems and incompatible standards. Users may find themselves choosing sides, as apps, devices, and even online services become increasingly divided along geopolitical lines. Nations will be pressured to align with either the US or China, making tech a central feature of diplomacy. Technology is no longer just a tool, it's a key bargaining chip in international relations, shaping alliances and rivalries alike. For developing countries, China's technology may offer an attractive, less restrictive alternative. These nations are weighing their options, seeking the best path to modernization and digital empowerment. Ultimately, China's two-nanometer revolution is about resilience, ambition, and the unpredictable power of innovation. It's a testament to how quickly fortunes can shift in the world of technology, and how determination can rewrite the rules. Technological leadership is no birthright, it must be earned, and the rules can change overnight. The balance of power is in constant motion, shaped by those bold enough to take risks and adapt. The world is entering a new era, one defined by fierce competition, rapid innovation, and a dramatic reordering of global power. The choices made today will echo for generations shaping the technological future for all.